Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be continuing on through the building a blog series with Tailwind, and I'm gonna be building this hero section that we see in the final version here. And I've already kind of built the HTML markup. We're just gonna be styling it. This is actually very easy with Tailwind. So if you do find this helpful, please do consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. So let's get started. So to start, I'm gonna uncomment this markup here that I've already written out. It's just got a section with two divs in it, an H2 heading, uh, a paragraph tag and another div that has the button in it. If we look at the final version, that's the H2, that's the paragraph, that's the button. And in here, you can see that it comes up completely unstyled. So how do we get from the starter to the final version with Tailwind? For starters, I've decided to limit the width of all elements on my blog to a max width of 3XL. So I'm gonna start with that and then I'm gonna use MX Auto to make sure that it's centered. So you can see the difference there. I'm gonna give it a background gray of 100 and a margin bottom of 12. This is actually not even necessary because we already have this div, which is gonna be BG white. And I'm gonna make it flex when the breakpoint is large or greater, shadow LG when the breakpoint is large or greater, and also rounded large. So if we look there, that's what that looks like. Here, we're gonna to have to add a padding all around of 12, that's top, bottom, left, and right, to space the text from the edges of the container. And we're also gonna to have to add text center. It'll center everything there. So that already looks much closer to the final version. You can see that it's, well, apart from text styling, it's identical, obviously. And for the H2, I'm just gonna make the text 2XL and the te text, text gray 800 font bold, md text 3xl, only when the breakpoint is medium or larger. Remember that Tailwind is mobile first, so it's gonna first find this, and then it's gonna say, oh, okay, there's a medium breakpoint uh, class set. So if the viewport width is at or larger than medium, we're gonna have this. If there's anything set for larger than medium, we're gonna default to that once we reach that breakpoint. So on a desktop screen, it's gonna be text 3xl. Next, we're gonna add a margin top of four here to space out the paragraph text from the heading. We're gonna make this text gray 600 to mute it a little bit. And now let's see what that looks like. Like I said, almost identical. I've actually added more lorem ipsum text here than there. And so that's why it looks a little bit larger. But now what's left is basically the button. And so the button, I've decided to basically just space it MT8 so margin top of eight in this container div of the button, which makes it look like so. And styling buttons is actually my favorite part of Tailwind, it's actually really easy. So I just set BG gray 900, because I want it to be dark. And I want the text to be a little bit muted inside, I don't need it to stick out. So it looks like that, I'll make it gray instead of white. And then I give it a padding left and right of five, and a padding top and bottom of three. Make the font semi bold and make the button rounded. That looks like so, but we are missing some hover effects. It's a nice touch to be able to see a little bit of change in the button as we hover. And so I've decided to basically set, on hover, set the BG gray to 800 instead of 900. And it'll make this slight change when we hover over. In fact, I could actually also even add a little bit of shadow. So let's see if that, yep, yeah, that's nice. And for now, that's it. So that's the hero section completed. The next video is going to be released with this video, so it's already posted if you're seeing this. And that one includes the post section, which is really interesting to see get built. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of this video. These sections were inspired by Meraki UI. I've actually taken those components off that project. It's like an open source collection of components. The link will be in the description below. I've taken them and I've modified them for what I wanna use them for. So if you are interested in using these components and you think they look good, I think they look great. Go ahead and visit that link in the description below. It's really easy to get started with and you get a great looking site for very little effort. So I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.